Today we're going to look at applications of trigonometry and solving problems with triangles in three dimensions. And we'll look at being able to solve using Pythagoras as well. So the learning goal for today is to solve problems involving triangles in three dimensions. So in order to solve three dimensional problems, it can be quite tricky to visualize them. So if you're able to draw in three dimensions using some kind of perspective drawing, that can be helpful. Um, but it can be very tricky to visualize in a head. So the, what is recommended is if you're given any diagrams, shown any diagrams, um, taking the three dimensional images and taking the triangles and writing them and drawing them down in two dimensions. So taking, for example, the uh, triangle that we've got visualized here, uh, if we care about and, and know the values here, X and Y, um, and Z or this angle or something like that um, for this triangle, then we need to draw it in two dimensions and write those um, values on there. So write the, write the values that we know on the actual triangle, so in the two-dimensional triangle, so that you can visualize and see clearly uh, what you need to solve. So then once we've got those two-dimensional representations, it should be a lot simpler to then use Trig or Pythagoras' theorem to find unknown sides or angles. And then we need to make sure that we relate our two-dimensional triangles back to the three-dimensional image once we've um, solved the problem. So if we have a look at an example here, we've got a vertical mast supported at the top by two cables that reach for two points from two points A and B. So the points are given here, A and B on the side there. The cable reaching from point A is 36 metres long and it is in an angle of 48 degrees to the horizontal. Point B is at 24 metres from the base of the mast, so it's anchored 24 metres from the base of the mast. First question that we need to answer is we need to find the height of the mast correct to, two, to three decimal places. Sorry. So if we tried to work it out using our, the first triangle here, um, the, the A triangle here, we've got enough information to do that. If we tried to work out the height of the mast here, and we'll call it X, um, using triangle B, we've only got one piece of information. It's not the 24 metres. It's not enough to actually solve the problem. So we need to use triangle A. So in order to answer part A, in order to answer part A, what we need to do is we need to draw triangle A. So if this is triangle A here, we know it's a right angle at the bottom because it's a vertical um, mast. This is the mast here, X. We've got the angle here of 48 degrees. We've got point A here, and labelling point A is going to make it clearer um, for you and for the person reading your response exactly what you mean um, and exactly which triangle it applies to. And we've also got our length of 36 metres there um, of, our, of our cable. So now we can solve this using trigonometry. We've got the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So that means we'll be able to use the sine um, relationship, the sine um, uh, trigonometric ratio trigonometric function, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 48 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite, which is x, divided by um, 36 as our hypotenuse. So that means x is going to be equal to 36 times sine 48. And so that means our mast with three decimal places comes out to be 26 metres uh, and 7.753 and 75.3 centimetres. So that's the height of our mass. So we can, we've answered our problem. We need to draw it back to our three dimensional problem though and say, therefore, the height of the mast of the mast is 26.753 metres. So we've answered that first, our part A. And we can use that answer now to answer part B. So for part B, we are trying to find out the angle, this angle here on our actual um, three-dimensional image, the angle of the horizontal of the cable reaching from point B to, uh, to two decimal places. So we're looking for this angle here. So we need to draw that triangle. 
So we draw that triangle here. Now that's our height of the of the um, of our vertical mast X. We know that this is 24 meters from the base, and we want to try and find this angle here. We're going to label point B here on the on the um, two-dimensional triangle as well to make sure it's nice and clear um, which triangle we're talking about. So we know that X is 26.753 metres from our previous question. So our relationship, we've got our opposite angle, or our opposite side rather to the angle, and we've got our adjacent side. So that means we're going to be using the tangent relationship, opposite over adjacent. So our X value here, we can put from our previous question, 26.753 metres. Substitute our values in, tan of the angle. We don't know what that angle is yet. Opposite side is 26.753 metres divided by 24 metres. So that means theta is going to be the inverse tan of 26.753 divided by 24. So that value is going to be 48.11 degrees to the horizontal. So then we need to finalise our answer by saying, therefore, uh, the angle of cable to point B at horizontal is 48.11 degrees. Now just recapping what we, our learning goals were for today, learning goals were to um, be able to determine uh, and, and solve problems involving triangles in three dimensions.